welcome back to another AF Stadiums. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Atlantic Hockey Arenas for the 23-24 season. This is a Division I, NCAA Division I conference. Starting things off with Cadet Ice Arena, Air Force. It's got a capacity of 2,470. Uh, was built in 1968 originally. Has gone through some upgrades here and there. They put in some new uh, bucket seats, some video boards, and just kind of clean things up a little bit. It does sit at an elevation of 6,600 feet, so anybody coming in to Colorado Springs to play Air Force, probably going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, I do like the blue seats and the new video board they put in, um, but it is just seating on both sides, which is honestly kind of pretty common um, in college hockey. Moving on, we got the Mass Mutual Center. Uh, this is uh, American International College. Um, not only does AIC play here, but also the Springfield Thunderbirds. Um, seats 8,000 people, which is a, a pretty big rank um, for college hockey. Um, but AIC has been pretty good throughout the last couple of years, so I'm sure they have decent attendance. Um, and it was originally built in 1972, but again, it has gone through some upgrades here and there to kind of keep it current. Um, but it's pretty just basic bowl, blue seats, nice arena, but nothing super crazy. Next, we got Tate Rink Army West Point. Uh, seats 2,648 was built originally in 1985. Again, it's gone through some updates here and there, um, but it is, it's probably the blandest rink. I actually believe that this is like in the basement of kind of a whole indoor sports complex there at Army. Um, not bad. It would be nice to see a video board there hanging in the center. Just again, does have seats on both sides, but overall not a bad rink to play some hockey in. Next, we have Bentley Arena, Bentley University. Um, this is a Division three school, but they do play D1 hockey. Seats 2,240 people. It is one of the newer ones on this list, built in 2018 for $45 million dollars. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of this one. I like it because of the glass up there on the top. A lot of these newer arenas, which you'll see later on in the video, are kind of incorporating that. You got nice chair back seats, nice video board hanging there in the center. Overall, I think it's a great little arena, even though it is still kind of small. Next, we got Lecom Harbor Center, Canisius University. Um, seats 1,800 people was built in 2014 for a price of $172 million, which probably seems insane. But this is actually the practice facility for the Buffalo Sabres of the NHL. They just have a deal with Canisius where they play here. I think it's a great arena. Again, just seats on both sides. I like how high the ceiling is in there. It really makes it look like quite a bit bigger of an arena. And it looks like you're actually sitting on wood bleachers there, which is a little interesting. Next, we got the Hart Center Rink, College of the Holy Cross. It's got a capacity of 1,600. Uh, was originally built in 1975, but did just get a renovation in 2016. This one's kind of a goofy one. It just has seating there on the one side, the... Uh, We'll call it the away side of the arena is just the benches for the teams. Um, nothing crazy. The, they have done, like I said, some renovations, but overall it's still a very simple, very bland uh, little rink. This is what you kind of see at the D3 level when it comes to hockey rinks. Next we got Mercyhurst Ice Center, Mercyhurst University. This is a Division II school. Um, seats 1,500 people, so again, on the smaller side, uh, was built in 1991 for $1.4 million. Um, when they call hockey rinks a barn, this is the type of hockey rink I imagine when they say we're going to play at so-and-so's barn, because it literally just looks like a barn on the inside. It does just have seating on one side, it's just bleacher seating. I do like that they have a center hung, but it, not a video board, so it would 
and be nice to see that upgraded. Next we got Dwyer Arena Niagara University got a capacity of 1400 which is not believe it or not the smallest one on this list was originally built in 1996 for six million dollars again just a uh, one-sided arena here uh, the other side is just for the teams it's where the benches are um, overall not bad I do kind of like how they have the graphics pretty much wrapping around this place and then those purple lights up there kind of looks cool um, but overall pretty simple little arena another one that actually looks like a barn next we got the island sports center uh, robert morris university got a capacity of 1200 which makes it the smallest one on this list kind of another goofy one here it's it's one-sided, but there's like a really small section of some bleacher seats there in the corner. Um, not a bad little arena. The yellow trusses kind of make it look a little goofy since Robert Morris's colors are blue and red. But overall, not a terrible rink, um, but maybe looking for a little bit more at the Division I level. Next, we got the Gene Polisini, pretty sure I said that wrong, center, um, RIT. Seats 4,000, making it the biggest one on this list, was uh, built in 2014 for $38 million. This is a beautiful rink. Um, just a single bowl all the way around, but all chairback seats. Pretty high ceiling, which is nice. Doesn't have a center hung, but it does have a pretty big video board there on the wall. But overall, a great arena, especially, I mean, when you're thinking about it, you're playing college hockey. I mean, you can't really get much better than an arena like this. Moving on, we got the Martire Family Arena, Sacred Heart University. Um, this is my favorite one on the list. It's the newest, was built in 2023 for $70 million. Has a seating capacity of 3600 and it's an absolutely beautiful arena. The glass, like letting all that natural light in. The center hung is awesome, but then you also have that ribbon board of LEDs going above that and around. That's something that you don't usually see. This is a pretty awesome arena. Chairback seats throughout. Nice club level. Pretty, pretty awesome D1 arena. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one.